Well, the future plans for the BBC's archive revolve very much around partnership. Uh, looking at ways that we can open the archive to the greatest potential use, particularly for educational purposes. And that's why our, role, our relationship with the SCA is so vital to this. The sheer scale of the task uh, means that we'll, we'll need to recruit uh, an army of people to help us do this. And certainly education is one place that we can look for solid and reliable support, whether it's through metadata or cataloguing or tagging our information in the first place. Uh, ultimately, we'd like to put as much of this in front of the public and you know, the data itself is something we're pretty sure that we can open source or we can make available to more than just the professionals and the BBC ourselves to work with. Part of the problem of trying to decide which is the high value and which is the low value content is that both, uh, it's a both and model. That things that we currently think have got very little value could, potentially, could have potentially huge uh, commercial opportunities. And many of those things that today we think are worth a lot of money over time can erode. So I feel that it's not possible to select things that we think aren't worth much and, uh, uh, and separate those from the things that we think are more valuable or more commercially valuable at least. It's essential to support our work in creating public value that we also look for commercial opportunities, not just for the BBC, but for the rest of the commercial sector. That's why we're supporting the Technology Strategy Board's uh, testbed pilot schemes to look for ways of creating micropayments or other opportunities to exploit and commercialise our archives.